Hello, I'm Michael Lee Johnson, and I'd like to read just one poem here for you tonight. The name of it is Carl Sandburg, Idols in the Sand in Galesburg Shacks. Idols are what idols appear to be. Idols are men that idols are. They are the sleepwalkers, the self-styled hobos, saints in small villages, people living alone. Birthright of saviors, railroad men, famous poets. Birthright of little places, big hard speakers of cold skillets and dainty bedrooms. Folk songs fall black and white, divided cracks celebrate brick streets. They form modest communities, quiet spaces, momentous churches. Named by denomination and breed, railroad tracks divide their ideologies. Brands of beer run down shacks, divide their lives. Poverty vultures, ex Maytag mongrels, Maytag treason, traitors of trade, traitors to Mexico walk simple steps away. Street, quiet lights, slate, deserted, house shacks of many races abandoned. Colors form rows, PMS color charts leading to his birthplace. Folk songs, Swedish heritage, remembrance rock. Savior of a poetic dream born in a slum. Just a roadside museum, mile and a half walk from downtown. Summer sweat, drenching summer heat, Galesburg Railroad Days, July 2010 ending. Beginning humidity, snippets of beer bottles tossed around, Saturday night drunks lie and flush on tailored grass. A three bedroom shack, half pint bedroom, curtains merge the windows with sun rays. More summer heat, idols grow as children, their ambitions toss them away. Idols are what idols appear to be. Idols are men that idols are. Antidote. This poem is based on a real travel experience to Galesburg, Illinois, birthplace of Carl Sandburg in June 2010. The poem was developed from the vivid pictures and images taken by Carol Marcus, a devoted friend of many years.